Please read us a story on bear. We'll all gather round. Dear old bear, sit in your favorite chair. We'll sit all around. All around, dear old bear. Little Bear, Sailor and Ruff were in the playroom searching through the box of odds and ends for something different to play with. While they were looking, Zebra arrived, pulling her little red cart. I found you some skittles, she said. I don't think you've played with those for a long time. What a good idea, cried Little Bear. All we need now is a nice heavy ball to knock them down. Oh, I know where there's one, barked Ruff, and he hurried off to find it. While he was gone, Old Bear helped the others to unload the skittles and line them up ready for the game. By the time Ruff returned with his heaviest ball, the skittles had been arranged in rows. Four at the back, then three, then two, then one. Shall I try it first? asked Little Bear, just to see if it works. Little Bear pushed the ball as hard as he could. It didn't go very far. Why don't you roll it down a slope? suggested Old Bear. You could try using this, he added, picking up a plank of wood. Old Bear helped to prop the plank up on some bricks. Then slowly and carefully, Sailor and Little Bear pushed the heavy ball to the top. <coughs> Can I have my go now, please? barked Ruff, bouncing about with excitement. You do it next time, said Little Bear. And before Ruff could move out of the way, he let go of the ball. It rumbled down the plank, getting faster and faster. It just missed Ruff, then crashed into the skittles, scattering them to the left and right, and rolled on to bump straight into Zebra's car. Bang! I did it! I did it! cried Little Bear, running over to examine the heap of fallen skittles. I knocked them all down! But look at my cart! cried Zebra. Little Bear stared at Zebra's red cart. The heavy ball had hit it with such a bump, it had broken one of the wooden wheels in two. Oh, I'm really sorry, he cried. I didn't think the ball would go that far. Old Bear came over and looked at the cart too. You'll need a new wheel, I'm afraid, he said. Now, wait there. I won't be long. I've seen some spare wheels somewhere. <laughs> Is it my turn to roll the ball now? asked Ruff. Later, said Sailor. Well, we'll just get Zebra's wheel mended first. After lots of rummaging about amongst the odds and ends, Old Bear walked over to the others, triumphantly carrying a box full of round, shiny tin lids. They're not wheels, after all, he said, but I'm sure they'll do. We only need one. How will you make a hole in the middle? asked Little Bear. With a hammer and nail, said Old Bear. I'll do that while you get the cart ready. Little Bear and Sailor pushed building blocks under Zebra's cart to hold it up. Then, when Old Bear had made the hole, he brought the new wheel over to the cart and pushed it into place. There, he said. I don't think that one will break. It looks very good, said Little Bear. Hmm, said Zebra. It isn't a perfect match, but it will do till I find a better one. Thank you. What can we do with the rest of the lids? asked Little Bear. There are still lots in the box. Let's make a go-kart, suggested Sailor. We can use them as wheels on that. Old Bear looked thoughtful. We might be able to, he said. We need something for the seat and two long things to hold the wheels on. And string to pull it along, cried Little Bear. Soon, Old Bear had found a cardboard box for the seat of the go-kart. He'd made holes in four of the tin lids and was threading two onto a pair of knitting needle axes. He pushed the points of the needles through one side of the box and out the other side, where Little Bear and Sailor were waiting to pop on the last two wheels and fix them in place with corks. I can't wait to go on it, said Ruff, as Old Bear tied a string to the front. Oh, I, I think you'd be a bit heavy for this, said Old Bear. Uh, perhaps Little Bear and Sailor ought to try it out first. When it was finished, Old Bear pushed the go-kart to the top of the plank and Little Bear and Sailor climbed on. Now, are you ready? called Old Bear. 
I'm going to let go. Hold on. Clinging tightly to the go-kart, the two friends whizzed down the plank, threw the scattered skittles, just missed Rabbit, then skidded to a halt. Did you see that? cried Little Bear. It looked fun, said Rabbit. Can I have a go? Why don't you and Ruff make a bigger go-kart, suggested Old Bear. Then you could all have races. Rabbit went over to the box of lids. There are only two wheels left, he said. Go-karts need four. There might be more in the cupboard under the stairs, said Old Bear. Let's all go and have a look. Rabbit loaded the two remaining tin lids into Zebra's cart. And with Old Bear pulling the go-kart, they set off for the hall. When they arrived, Old Bear and Little Bear began to search for round things that they could use for wheels. They rummaged through old boxes and heaps of odds and ends. Suddenly, Little Bear spotted something. What's that behind the box, Old Bear? It looks as though it's round. Old Bear pushed a few things aside and out rolled the biggest wheel Little Bear had ever seen. But the wheel didn't stop. It set off through the cupboard door, past the stairs and down the hall. Ruff gave chase, leaping up and down and barking wildly. <coughs> Soon all the toys were trying to catch the runaway wheel. At last, after rolling round and round, the wheel began to wobble and finally fell over right in the middle of the hall. Well, puffed old bear, it's a bit bigger than we needed, isn't it? And there aren't any other wheels in the cupboard, said Little Bear, so Rabbit won't be able to make a go-kart after all. But I don't need to now, came a voice from behind, and whizzing towards them was Rabbit. Using just the two tin lids and some pieces of wood from the cupboard, Rabbit had made himself a scooter. It's really fun, he said. You just put one foot on this wooden bit and push yourself along with the other foot. I don't need more wheels now. But I do, said Ruff. I won't fit on a scooter, and I can't do anything with one wheel, especially such a big one. Actually, said Old Bear, examining the big wheel, there might be something I can do with this that will be just right for you. Why don't you come back in a few minutes? That's a good idea, said Rabbit, hopping back onto his scooter. Let's collect the go-kart and do some racing. Very soon, the toys arrived back at the playroom scooting the scooter and pushing the go-kart. Ruff had raced ahead and propped up all the fallen skittles. Watch me, said Rabbit, scooting in and out of a row of skittles. I could even turn corners on this. It's really fun. Little Bear and Sailor followed him with the go-kart and Ruff bounced behind, chasing everything on wheels. You'll have to sit down, Ruff, said Little Bear. You're making me dizzy running round and round like that. I wouldn't have to run about if I had something to ride on, moaned Ruff. Then why don't we all go and see what old Bear is doing, suggested Little Bear. They soon arrived back at the runaway wheel. There, said old Bear proudly. What do you think of that? The wheel was still lying on its side, but now it had an old broom handle in the middle and coloured ribbons all around the edge. Goodness, cried Little Bear, what is it? Ruff, ruff. I know, barked Ruff happily as he jumped up onto the wheel and sat down. At last there's something that is big enough for me to ride on. And me, cried Rabbit, leaping up beside Ruff. And me too, said Sailor, scrambling up as well. But what does it do, asked Little Bear. Old Bear picked Little Bear up and sat him between Sailor and Ruff. Hold on tight, he said and I'll show you what it does. He gave the wheel a big push and it began to turn. Round and round it went with ribbons fluttering in the breeze and the toys hanging on tightly. It's a roundabout, cried Little Bear. Whee! I would never have thought that something with only one wheel would be the fastest ride of all.